Hi, my name is Haley. I'm part of the animal care crew here at TDI. My job is to make sure that the babies here have fresh food, fresh water, clean bowls, clean tanks, clean substrates, and pretty much that they're happy and healthy and ready to come home to you guys. We also take care of the breeder beard dragons here. We make sure they get fresh greens, we get calcium crickets for them, everyone gets along. We also put their eggs up when they're laid and then we incubate them and watch them when they're hatched, take good care of them, make sure they're doing good, and then get them ready for the sales floor for you guys to take home. I have been on the team for a little under two years now, although I've been coming here as a customer for about eight years. I started working here in the summer of 2020, I believe actually September 1st. Too many. So between my boyfriend and I, we have six cats, a blue crown conure, a tailless whip scorpion, a moon glow boa constrictor, crested gecko, gargoyle gecko, lychee gecko, three dart frogs, a mossy frog, two pac-man, and a Chinese water dragon. I believe that's everybody, but it's a zoo at home for sure. Did you get any of them from here? I did. I My water dragon I got from here. I got my gargoyle gecko from here, and then our crested gecko. Oh, and we actually got five of our six frogs from here as well. All right, who is this? This is my gargoyle gecko, Bobbin. She is about two years old. She has maybe just a smidge more growing to do, but once she gets to the ideal weight, we're going to see about maybe getting her a boyfriend and a girlfriend, and this might be a side breeding project of mine. She's fired down right now, but when she fires up, you can see all the white and like pinkish tint areas. That becomes a real bright orange, and then those black stripes really deepen up too, but I love her even fired down. When I first got her, she was pretty much just dark brown stripes all over so it's been really nice seeing all this color pop up through her. These guys are cool. They're cousins of the crested gecko and the main difference is if these guys drop their tail they can in fact grow back which I like about that so you don't have to feel as nervous when handling them. And if you notice on top of her head part of why they have their name is they have these cute little gargoyle horns right there. As you can see those little spikes. This was my very first pet reptile, actually. Well, not this one specifically, but when I first came to TDI eight years ago, I got a gargoyle gecko. So it's only fitting now that I'm working here. I had to get one from the shop again. I got her probably my first month of working here and I've loved it ever since. I think my favorite in general is, I have to say, a Gaboon Viper. Just something about their little pancake bodies and they got the little horns. Ugh, oh, so cute. But at the shop, I have to say right now, we have a baby frilled dragon on the floor that is just cute as a button. He hand fed a cricket from me today, so he's got to be my favorite right now. I know, I love him. I like naps. But... <laughs> Mainly, I like arts and crafts, all that fun stuff, drawing, painting. I've been recently trying to get into digital sculpting, which is a little bit more of a challenge, but lots of fun there. I made a frog last month, and that's been my pride and joy. been hard to kind of sit down and do anything lately just with the two little ones going crazy but I did just recently uh, repurchase Crash Bandicoot I think it was the Nitro Racing which is like their CTR remake and then downloaded Dark Alliance remake they made it for the Xbox so been trying to get some fun games in here and there but adult life it's hard man to squeeze that time in My favorite part about TDI is honestly just all the little scaly friends that come in, getting to see all the new faces and taking care of them and then seeing them go home to their new families and hopefully they're thriving and everyone's having a good time now that they're bonded with them. It's 
not super exciting, but I remember it was my first week, if not my first day, working here. I was taking care of the breeder beer dragons, and Matt just comes flying through the back door, and he's like, check out this rock! This is the second sharpest rock ever! Like, right behind a diamond or something. And he was all excited about this little rock. He's like, look at this rock! It cuts glass! And sure enough, he goes up to one of the breeder tanks and draws like a little line on the side of it. Like, yep, that's a sharp rock! But honestly, it was just fun seeing someone get so excited over that, and I cannot remember the name of that rock, but I'm gonna have to ask him for it. It's a pretty cool rock. I know, it's like any time when your new boss comes flying through the door and he's like, check this out, and destroys his own property just to show you a rock, it's a pretty good memory. It sticks with you. So, fun fact about me is I'm actually a secret elf walking amongst us. I have these little ears done. Uh, I got them pointed, I want to say, about four to five years ago, and I, they work just as well as a normal ear. My hearing's not affected or anything. I can bend them and all that, but I just thought that was something quirky and fun to do. Grew up playing World of Warcraft and all that fun stuff, so of course have to represent. 